we're about to have a fun night tonight, aren't we? Hi, welcome back to an update video. Yes, it's me, Lego Master 627 and um, yep, it is Wednesday, November 30th of 2022. Uh, it is uh, the last day of November, and uh, we are just, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know, a good five and a half hours away until it's uh, December. 2022 at least for me of course for some of you in different time zones it may actually already be December but for me um yeah good uh good uh, another good uh five and a half hours oh and yes um let me properly explain something before we jump into it um cuz uh, I need to properly explain something oh yeah go watch this it's pretty sweet I actually really like that photo. Oh, no, 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 uh, not the shorts. I haven't really made any at all. I don't know how. I just haven't thought of anything. <clears throat> Let me explain something before we jump into this. Uh, there we go. I wasn't clicking for a second. In terms of... But, uh... All right. So, first off, let me properly uh, explain this. So, uh, you hear the video, right? Most likely, yes. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Legos Island. You hear how quiet the mic is? Yeah. Here's the real reason. So it says, Hi, I found out the reason my voice sounds so quiet in this video and in the Missions 5 through 7 videos of Zola's Up to Future Party. Apparently, my webcam camera was randomly unplugged when setting up the Christmas lights on my desk on November 25th, and it didn't start happening until November 29th, and my mic was affected by this somehow. That can also explain why I wasn't recording my voice in the Michael Penguin video for the Christmas 2022 code. Thankfully, I found out this entire issue now on November 30th and replugged it back in and always fixed. And yes, I do plan to return to do more stupid PS videos as we go into December. Yes, that last line saying more stupid PS videos. Trust me. Trust me. I know. I know. I really do need to do more stupid PS videos. Um, we'll get very few um, replies saying, don't forget to say it in the update video in case some people don't read comments. Yeah, I need to really remember that because, uh, yeah, I need to remember that that's actually a thing. All right, and uh, the last reply was like nine minutes ago. So yeah, I uh, as you can hear, I sound uh, back to the way I am, uh, back up to the normal volume that you normally hear my mic at. Um, so yeah, we're all good, and obviously, as you can see, my webcam is back too because uh, I had to replug back in my camera. I don't know how the heck my mic was affected. But uh, it somehow was. But yeah, definitely because my camera was unplugged. Oh yeah, first update video out of, uh, I want to say five or six that you're going to be seeing these Christmas lights. But next Wednesday, December 7th, we put on the Santa hat. Now, I'm not doing it here since it's not even December yet. It doesn't genuinely make sense because it's not December yet. It makes more sense when it actually is December. And we're like, again, five and a half hours away as of recording this video. So uh, I got to get this done. But there is something very, very special we need to get to as soon as I get through all of this. So what do we have in the last update video? We have 644 right now as we speak. Again, go watch this. It's a really cool episode. Also, yes, the first episode had a good while to be under 10 minutes. I really hope that's the case in future episodes. I mean, I don't mind episodes 10 minutes or less, but any longer, it's going to start kind of annoying me at some point. It's nice having these shorter episodes because, holy frick, a lot of them, like, I'm okay with the length in this episode. That's fine. The problem is the ones prior to this. I know, I know. So these, you may know, have been getting a lot shorter lately. <clears throat> and that's good. I want to kind of make a little bit of shorter episodes. Open up to begin with. Why not? All right. Sub count is exactly the same. I constantly kind of expect that. 
But if we bring back some more stupid PS videos, I'm pretty sure that sub count's gonna go up pretty high if I had to guess. Again, if I had to guess, obviously. I don't want to assume these things and then they actually happen or not. No. Uh, in actual reality, we have back your videos for the snowflake lights. And, um, uh, oh, nice! The actual thumbnail actually coincides with the actual video. Nice! Um, in terms of, you know, when you play it like this. That's awesome! Uh, that, it's been a really long time since I've seen it do that. Where it just coincides with the thumbnail. <clears throat> Play goes out in Christmas 2022 construction phase 2. Um, by the way, I've already started kind of updating the island already. Don't be surprised. Now, one of the main reasons is because it is a massive update. So, I might be on the island tonight updating early. But again, it's because it is a very, very, very big update. I mean, last year's was too. And uh, there's a reason it went up on the wrong day. But uh, Zola's up too for Future Party Mission 7. Oh yeah, I gotta clean that up. But first, I don't think Rose Crystal has actually seen the Future Party. And it's about to end in like one day. Oh! Speaking of Rose Crystal, I am proud to announce, and I don't know if she said this in a video that she posted earlier, but uh, she's done with college for the winter. So uh, we can go back to filming together for a good while, actually, for a few months. Oh, we technically for like a month. Um, but that's something. Yeah, she's done with college for the winter. Uh, fun fact: it was originally supposed to be December second she would have been done, but uh, she finished two days early. We're good. Um, because the last day of her uh, college semester was like gonna be like December second, but uh, she finished two days early. Props to her for that. Back to the point, I still gotta show her that future party because I gotta clean it up uh, in like less than 24 hours. Future party mission six, future party mission five. Yep, three future party missions in a row. Michael Penguin for the Christmas 2022 code. Oh, uh, I'll get into something regarding that later. Or actually, not even, but it is Super PS related. So, uh, back your VOs. Evening with Lucy and plus Night of Lights coming soon. Lego Mass 627 creations for the Snowstorm plus mini event. Sunny Vlogs 261 Part 2. And then Part 1 of that video, which is the main video for that. And then Lego's Island for the HQ Fair Anniversary. Okay, I forgot to put the little colons there. I'll probably just fix that later. Oh, and I forgot to do the same for this. Uh, I'll go ahead and fix that off camera. <clears throat> uh, back your videos for... Uh, Figure that didn't show in the one eye, and then just the one eye decorations themselves. The Christmas decorations vlog part one. Oh, uh, speaking of which, actually, uh, all inside decorations are done. Maybe I should have done that prior to this video. And eh, it doesn't matter. I'll just film it later. But also, uh, the house is a little messy right now, so I guess that also could explain. Yeah, uh, the house is a little messy right now, so maybe I should wait a day, honestly. And uh, come back when it's a little bit cleaner. Because uh, there's actually a lot of bins around the house right now. Uh, so maybe I should just come back when it's cleaned up. Because it makes more sense. And also you'll be able to see the decorations easier. So uh, I'll just say the inside ones are done. Now the outside ones in the front yard though. We still have to get to those. Uh, eventually. In uh, sometime in the beginning of December. Anyway. Uh, same video here. Just part one of two. Uh, Legos on Operation Blackout Aftermath, Construction, and First Two Christmas Rooms. Then Zola's Up 2 for the Thanksgiving 2022 mini event. And then the final mission of Operation Blackout plus the uh, Thanksgiving 2022 mini event. And then the update video from a week ago, technically. Now, let me talk about, well, the fact of something CBPS related. You see, I've been trying to get into this game. The thing is, I already have it on my PC. The problem is, half the time it doesn't even work. Let's go into the downloads real quick. See, there's the client. Now, we are going to, uh, first off, close off that. We are going to uh, load that up. 
and see if it actually freaking works. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. It's been stuck like this for like three days. And that can explain why I haven't joined the game yet. Actually, this actually started happening around the time I was trying to create my account on this game. And Operation Pubble's literally ending in one day. That is one of my personal favorite 2013 parties, and I'm actually going to miss it. <sighs> why did I not find out about it sooner? Dang it, one of my personal favorite 2013 parties. And I've missed it. It doesn't go down until December 1st, but I know for a fact I'm going to miss it. And I just feel really ashamed of myself. Again, that is one of my personal favorite 2013 parties. I had a lot of fun with it back on the original Club Penguin. And then again on a Club Penguin Online. Yeah. And who knows the, never, who knows the next time a CBPS is ever going to put out this party anyway. So, uh, RIP! Who knows, maybe I'll finally get in by the time the holiday party begins. That would be nice, because I want to join more than just Michael Penguin. And yes, this game too. Trust me, we'll get into this game too. I have to probably do the same thing. I have to probably reinstall both of these two games, because it is still not doing anything. That can explain. And I still haven't done it because I've been busy as heck with preparing for Legos Island Christmas. And that is a perfect way to transition into that. Now that I've gotten some CBPS stuff out of the way, which I will get into those two games very soon. I know the respected November parties are literally ending the same day, which I feel really dumb for missing out on them both now, since I love those two parties. It's too late now, they're going to be gone by the next time I, I try and think of going on. <clears throat> which, that's going to suck. Oh well. Hey, at least we have some holiday parties to look forward to. And also, technically, the holiday party is technically considered one of my favorite Club Penguin parties of the year. My all-time favorite Club Penguin party, as you all know, is the fair, which I'm glad I got to experience this year on Club Penguin Forever right before that went down. It's just, my favorite party of the year for some reason is the holiday party. This may be because I joined literally the day the Holiday Party 2011 began on the original Club Penguin. That probably could explain why. And yes, I will be doing something to celebrate that on Thursday, December 15th. But again, back into what we were just talking about. It's time, guys. The reason I wanted to make this update video. Well, first off, because it is Wednesday again. But the, no, seriously, the point remains. It is freaking time. After nearly keeping this a secret for three months, well, at least on December 3rd it will be three months, it's freaking time. After nearly three months of keeping this an entire secret, how will Legos Highland Christmas play out? Cool Get Freddy 3 made a prediction around a year ago, uh, around the time Legos Island Christmas 2021 actually went up, and he predicted that... Let's just say he predicted that we're probably going to do the same thing that we did for ZL2 last year in 2021. Also for the ZL2 Christmas party, obviously this year it's going to be different again because of course, of course, a year has uh, a year has passed since that. Um, um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, just thought I mentioned. But I'll talk about that in the December 14th update video. It makes more sense to explain it there since it will literally be one day before it begins. Outside of that, yeah, he made a prediction. What if we take all that snow and use it for sculptures? That's what his prediction was a year ago. And, well, let's see if that was in the plans. It's time. Was it in the plans? Well, you guys are about to find out. But in reality, what you're actually going to find out about is how the heck this thing's going to go anyway. Um, and god dang it! Still have to do something regarding this. One second. Alright guys, so I basically just forgot to add something I was meant to tell you. So, uh, in regards to this. Alright guys, are you ready? This is the one reason um, 
I premiered this video. Who's ready? Three, two, one. Oh, and also just to be clear, this is not the only other thing I need to announce in this video. There's actually a few others it's for the backyard and creation world. But this is the main one right here. Legos Island Christmas 2022 is the sixth one to occur on Legos Island. As we all know, the construction for the event began on November 25th. It starts December 1st and ends January 1st. Now here's the part you guys already know about. Starting after Operation Blackout ended on November 25th, for six days leading up to December 1st, two rooms on the island were decorated early due to the actual event being a massive project to make when it fully releases. And now, since we've gone through all the rooms, um, let's recap what we looked forward to here. On November 25th, 2022, the dog park had construction preparing for, well, whatever I decide to hold there. And well, this is where the fun part began. I'm about to reveal why there was construction at the dog park. But before I do that, on November 28th, 2022, the island began being dug out of the snow from Operation Blackout. And on November 29th, 2022, we saw more construction take place featuring snowy trees, snow sculpture, and um, tree platforms. So that's really cool. The island transforms into a Christmas slash winter wonderland filled with activities referencing the five previous Legos Island Christmas events. Five areas on the island will be decorated as a room from the five previous years, while the rest will be new designs dedicated to the aftermath of Operation Blackout in November 2022. And due to the amount of snow on the island after Operation Blackout, Snow sculptures related to each winter themed area will be made to represent them. You were right, Cool Cat 33! Half of the event, though. That was only half the event. That's right. Your prediction was right from a year ago. But only for half the event. How the heck did he predict that? I don't know. Anyway, let's have ourselves a look at what the heck is going to happen. So, it is going to be a winter wonderland filled with fun activities. Referencing the five previous LEGO's Island event, uh, Christmas events. In completely custom ways. Remember how I said this was going to be the most customized LEGO's Island Christmas of all time. This is what I was talking about. And now with the addition of snow sculptures... Uh, this should now make sense to you. So that can purposely explain what these platforms were for. Let's talk about the main part though. Let's talk about each room. Well, here we go. The port is going to be a mix of all five port designs from the last five years. That's right. I'm not joking. This is legit serious. And it's going to be awesome. Now, as for the past rooms, I'm not going to spoil them as it makes more sense to just watch the video when it comes out. Or if you're watching this update video in the far future, you can just watch the actual video. As for this, though, for those curious, the balcony is, well, act no, 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 wait, sorry. Uh, sorry, uh, misspoke. Uh, apparently, let me get down to the fun facts segment. Let's talk about this. The same night lighting seen in Legos Island Christmas 2021 will return here. You want to know something cool? Do you want to know why the theme park is still buried in snow? That is because snow park, this is going to be a snow park. If it, it didn't already look obvious in the construction, I thought I'd just tell you. Yes, the theme park is going to be a snow park. And that is super freaking cool. Now here's another fun fact regarding it. 
if we go down to uh, where I displayed some fun facts, here's the idea here. Snow Park is a reference to the island being buried in snow before and during Lego's Island Christmas 2018. So that can explain why the theme park still looks like this. Yep, that's right. It still looks like this on purpose for this reason alone. Also, yes, like I said, I started updating the rooms. So they may look a little different. So that could explain why all of these trees are here. See, now it's coming together. What else do I have to announce? Well, let me show you. Also, if you are genuinely confused and curious why the heck there are so many godforsaken candy canes on that tallest mountain, well, let me break it down for you. That is what I call Candy Cane Mountain. But actually, it is a reference to, well, hold on, let me find it. Candy Cane Mountain is a reference to multiple colored candy canes seen in Lego's Island Christmas 2019. Of course, the only candy canes at the time included the red, blue, and green candy canes, respectively. But since we've seen a lot more over the years, it makes sense just to include them all. And for those who are curious what I'm referring to, back in 2019, there were multiple colored candy canes scattered all over the island. Hence why I did that for Candy Cane Mountain. It is a clear, obvious reference to the fact that there were so many lit up candy canes, well, just candy canes in general, across multiple colors, as you can see in the footage. And that can purposely explain why. It's meant to show the color, the Christmas colors. So that can purposely explain that. Like I said, it's all coming together now. Now you can see why I'm updating these rooms the way they are. Oh, and while we're here, I may as well show you the last Christmas room before the actual event starts. Well, let's make our way in there. Yeah, you're probably thinking, what the heck is this? Obviously, it's not complete yet, but let me give you some info on what the frick this is. For those genuinely curious, this is meant to represent the gingerbread theme from LEGO's Island Christmas 2020, but in a new way, in terms of the fact that this entire godforsaken mountain is going to be all about the gingerbread theme from two years ago. And inside here lies, well, what will soon to be a bakery. So that is pretty cool. It is a clear reference to Legos Island Christmas 2020, which, for those genuinely curious, had a gingerbread theme alongside an ice theme. Hence why, well, this, 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 and this all exist. So that can explain all of that. That can explain why the theme park is frozen solid at the moment. Yep, you are probably curious why the heck it's frozen. Technically, it was because of Operation Blackout, but then it gave me the idea. Let's keep it frozen for the Christmas event. Technically, yes, most of this damage did take place during Operation Blackout, of course, because the sun was taken away. But then again, it gave me the idea, let's just keep it frozen for the whole entire event and make a little cool area based off of it. That may or may not explain why this is shaped like this. And there's a good decent chance that all of these are potentially going to turn into ice trees. Yep, you can see we have a theme going here, don't we? Now what about this on the other hand? Why the heck are there so many trees here? This is where the fun part gets interesting. Oh! Forgot to mention, this will be called Frozen Park in replacement of the water park during the event. And the mountain up there, due to it having a bakery, will be called Bakery Mountain. It kind of makes sense that I go with those two names. Mainly because this is frozen solid because of Operation Blackout. Thank you, Mr. Vlockers. And, uh, <laughs> that has a bakery up there now. At least for the event, of course. Um, but again, back to why the heck there are so many trees. Well, do you recall last year's event, right? Where there were so many trees across the island? Uh, well, obviously this year around, that's not going to be the case, at least in terms of the lit up ones. I am declaring this Christmas Tree Island. And why? 
Christmas Tree Island is a reference to the lit up tree theme from Legos Island Christmas 2021. You remember the lit up tree theme from a year ago, right? Let's make an entire area dedicated to it. And now since we have a ton of new light blocks, this is going to be fun. So that can explain why all these trees are here. You can clearly see things I mentioned in the previous LEGO Island episode are now coming together. As I'm sure a lot of you were confused before. But now, this is making clearing all that up. What are your thoughts so far? But now, yeah, you probably can see what the heck that is. In the Backyard video on November 29th, 2022, I gave you a sneak peek of this very room right here. And you probably were all confused on what the heck this was going to be. Well. Time to clear that up. If the design doesn't already make it look obvious, this is a winter cabin. Going inside, yeah. You can see I have a thing going here. That's right, because of how stupid cold the island is at the moment, I think this truly will make total sense. Also, this is where the originality comes in now. Now that we're done with all the references, now I can actually go into more of originality stuff. And this is one of those original ideas. Technically, everything I just mentioned about all those references were original ideas, just basing them off of past designs um, from previous events, but in a new, fully original way. But, again, this is actually what it's supposed to look like, actually. I redid the walls today because uh, I knew it was going to take forever to do on the actual day, so I thought, you know what, let's actually be smart and do it like a day early. So, anyway... Yeah, in the event, you're going to see me explore this winter cabin throughout two episodes. Sorry, three episodes. The first off being the event tour, then day six, and day seven of Legos Island Christmas 2022, respectively, as that's where they're going to be the two item booths. Obviously, you can clearly see none of the item booths are here yet. Obviously, because it's not December 1st as of recording this. Now... Some of you were probably confused about the resort. Granted though, it still looks exactly the same as what it was during Operation Blackout. And that gave me a really fun idea to work with. Because, well, it looks like this because of the freaking blackout, I decided let's turn this into a blizzard beach. It looks like a freaking blizzard at the moment. As you can probably clearly guess. Well, yeah. I now declare this Blizzard Beach, thanks to all the frickin' snow that piled up on this place during Operation Blackout. Of course, some of this will probably be dug out before the actual event goes live. But in the meantime, yeah. This looks like a Blizzard themed beach. Next up, before we make our way to the dog park, I want to declare something in the wilderness. Remember what that sign said when we first entered the wilderness a few episodes back? It said, Welcome to Chili Woods. Now, the reason why this is a reality is because, intentionally, a lot of snow fell here after Operation Blackout. And I don't know how it didn't do it during the actual event, maybe because of the searchlight mission. But, yeah, this place got real cold real quick. So I declared this to be Chilly Woods. Because technically, we are in a wilderness, and it's snowy around here. So uh, that would make sense. But oh boy, man, we're going to need to bundle up quick. And that's exactly what this is going to be for. And now, the most important one, the dog park. Why is all this construction here? Well, I was about to reveal it when I was talking about the construction of the dog park. Let's go back to that segment, shall we? Where the heck is it? There it is. So I said the construction had, the dog park had construction there preparing for the Christmas Fair! That's right! We're having a Christmas Fair all across the dog park and across all three of these houses. The originality is real! Yep, you can see there is a lot of originality going into this event. 
And oh boy, let's just be clear, pretty much everything outside of Cool Get Freddy Freeze prediction was thought of all the way back on September 3rd of 2022 when I was on my way home from New York. Of course, we stayed in a hotel room that night because, of course, it was a two-day drive. And during the night, I came up with everything you've basically been hearing me say outside of Cool Get Freddy Free Snow Sculpture Prediction. Because that was already predicted. But everything else I just told you outside of that after that point, yep, all of that was thought of in one single night, September 3rd, 2022. And it's taken me this long to reveal it to you. But actually, it was on purpose. This event is going to be one of the wildest Legos Island Christmases we are ever going to have in this freaking world's history. And probably my favorite one. We're going to find out how all this plays out. But that still doesn't explain why the village also has a ton of trees. Well, this is the last one. And you're probably wondering, why does the coffee shop and library and all these houses look like this? Let's make another Christmas village. Again, for the sixth year in a row. Yep, but in a lot more of a cozy way. That's exactly why it looks like that in there. See, it's all coming together. And it's truly something that I feel appreciative of. Again, some rooms are not updated because some of those are going to turn into past rooms referencing at least one of the five events. But I promise you, all of these rooms outside of five of them are original. And it is going to look absolutely freaking amazing. And none of this could have been possible without the snow from Operation Blackout, which, just to be clear, I announced Operation Blackout on January 3rd of 2022. Exactly eight months before thinking of all these other concepts that I could have used with all this snow from Operation Blackout outside of Cool Kid 33's snow sculpture prediction. Outside of all that, I thought of all these other original ideas that I could have used all the snow for after the events of the blackout. And, well, there you go. That is exactly what it's going to be. Now, how it's actually going to look like on the actual islands is completely unknown until the first episode. That was my concept for Legos Island Christmas 2022. It is probably going to be probably the most original Legos Island Christmas of all freaking time. Of course, we'll still have the Advent Calendar Day 25 item move as per usual on the hotel roof, which could also explain why it's buried in snow at the moment. There might be a few trees here like last year, but obviously different. But there you go. That was my entire concept for Legos Island Christmas 2022. Now again, how it's going to look on the actual island, I got an idea going. And you'll find that out in episode one of Legos Island Christmas 2022 on Thursday, December 1st, 2022. As you can see, I've technically already started updating some of the rooms, which means this shouldn't take long. I'm going to regret saying that in less than 24 hours. <laughs> I'll, start out, I'll start the update process tonight prior to late night countdowns. So if you do see any more differences from after this point, that can explain why. And, man, it just feels so good to finally reveal all those concepts to you guys. After just keeping them secret and since September 3rd. And I just, I'm going to be extremely proud when this event's um, officially gone live. Because it's probably going to be my favorite Ally Christmas of all time. So we got rooms referencing all five previous Ally Christmas events. But of course in custom ways. And then we got a ton of new custom designs. Like... Chili Woods, uh, hold on, the Blizzard Beach at the resort, uh, the Winter Cabin as the Lodge, and 
and the village is gonna be like a cozy village like a holly village and this is looking amazing at the moment and heck we even got a mountain full of candy canes so we're in for something extremely cool However, while I do have all 25 items planned, there were some that were planned, but just didn't make it in. And this is the last thing I need to announce regarding it. Remember the 12 days of classic Christmas items last year? It's back again, but for items that didn't make the original 25th act. Day Avon calendar. That's right, tons of custom items that did not make the calendar because I thought of other items in their place will actually be in the 12 day calendar again. Yep, it's brought it's being brought back again. And this is the last thing I need to announce regarding this. And well, let me talk about that real freaking quick. Because oh freaking boy. So items originally planned for the 25 day calendar but were replaced with others will be featured here starting Wednesday, December 14th, 2022 through Sunday, December 25th, 2022. And that, my friends, is all I need to announce regarding Legos Island Christmas of 2022. There may or may not be reasons as to why the snow tunnel is still here. And you'll find out what that is on episode one. For now, though, I've rambled on way too long about this event, but that was the main focus of this update video, was to talk about this event. So there you go. It's revealed. What are your thoughts? Look out for episode one on December 1st, and you'll get a true idea of what I just told you. Again, that was all my plans. But again, how is it going to look on the island itself? That's what episode one is for. So guys, let's finally talk about something completely different. Which is the backyard, Night of Lights. Let's get off the island since I have no reason to still be here. Oh, right, I still have that pulled up from when I did the footage. But um, I guess I could show you what I was referring to with the other side of the island. Um, like, if you recall, there were like lit up trees all over the freaking place yeah who remembers the lit up trees right yeah who remembers all the lit up trees that's gonna be kind of a comeback but uh apart from that i've already watched this video way too many freaking times so uh <coughs> i'm gonna close that <coughs> yeah i've rambled on way too long regarding that night of lights thankfully um will be really cool too it will start uh, December 3rd and end December 10th, as I've previously announced a few months back and as of recently. Um, of course, since it's being held in December, it'll obviously have a Christmas theme going with it. And that's why the snowflake lights exist. So uh, that's pretty nice. We'll have some lights like the blue ones in my workshop, the snowflake lights, and potentially getting some rainbow lights again at some point. Either way gonna be a fun event as usual an episode every single day of the event up until its end date december 10th which i think um i think december 10th i don't think there's actually an episode although i think i'm actually wrong though hmm i gotta think about that is there gonna be an episode that day i'm genuinely not sure I don't think there's going to be an episode that day because I would have just filmed one literally for seven days straight. Yeah, let's take December 10th off because I literally would have been filming one every day for seven days. I think I would have already had enough. Point is, uh, the lit up candy canes will be here in Night of Lights because of its Christmas theme. So look out for that. Outside of that, uh, Creations World. What's the theme for that since I've already just rambled on about Legos Island Christmas? Why not take the LA Christmas 2021 theme of those all those freaking lit up trees and expand upon it by literally having Christmas trees literally everywhere across the entire world 
Just not as many as, of course, the 2021 version, of course. Oh, no, no, no. I think I placed a little too many. But at least having a few in each area of the world would make sense. So that's the Creations World theme. And, well, for the lab on Zola's app, too, um, we are going to have... Uh, the advent calendar for that also begins the same day the future party ends. We also have a catalog for ZL2 as well on that day. Uh, as for ZL3, uh, I still have yet to take down the 100th episode party. That will be very, very soon. Uh, not tonight. It's only like 7.25 in the evening right now. And um, it looks just amazing uh there is a mini event for zola free on december 4th for the one year anniversary of the uh, operation zola we're talking the original and just the event overall and there will be a catalog release that day too and that's really awesome now what about the look back video for friday december 2nd this is the last thing i need to greatly announce to all of you what is the look back video for December 2nd? Well, let's have ourselves a look as we look into my uh, calendar here. Well, Legos Island Christmas 2019. I have to do that again at some point. I still have to upload the one from like last year from like 2018. I still have to upload the 2018 one. I apologize. I need to get that up. And then do the 2019 version on uh, December 2nd. And that'll be cool. Look out for that on Friday. Exactly, almost exactly a year after I did the 2017 one. But that's really awesome. So yeah, I've been rambling on for 42 minutes now. I'm gonna end it here. I'm probably gonna go start updating LI because uh, it's gonna be a long process. Um, the Island Counter doors won't actually go out until, of course, the actual day itself of December 1st. Those will just be a last minute addition I add prior to filming. And, uh, yeah. So, there you go, guys. Now that, dear God, I've been rambling for 42 minutes and I need to shut it because holy frick. That was a lot of talking. I better not lose my voice again because of this. I already lost it once this past month. I'm not about to do that again. Especially when we have an avid calendar on Legos Island to look forward to. So it was up to as well, but that's just every week that I'm just going to show you them across CL2 and free. Uh, Creations World as well. And yeah. All right, I'll see you all in the next update video on uh, December 7th, which I will have the Santa hat on by then. I'm actually looking at it up there right now on my TV and on my top of my closet. But that's all I need to say. Seriously, though, what did you think of the concept for Legos Island Christmas 2022? Was it worth the wait? Do you think it sounds boring? Do you think it sounds really awesome? Comment down below what your thoughts are. Um... On just everything I just announced here. I know most of it was I like Christmas, but that was the main point of this update video anyway. So again, does it sound boring? Does it sound really awesome? Comment down below. And with that being said, I'm done. I've been rambling for 44 minutes. I need to shut up. Okay, no, Sarah, so I'll see you for late. Now, countdown.